You ever get any? Uh, you ever get any business advice or any stories or dirty jokes from it? Uh, I mean, it, it depends on how long, how much time you want to spend. So, you can spend a lot of time. So did you? Uh, did you learn everything you needed to learn? <laughs> oh, I got my lesson every day. <laughs> Every day I come in here. I know. I told Catherine if I'm not back in three hours, come down to Junkies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you can start here. Uh, this is my fifth year running this boat uh, for crab, and then uh, deckhand for six years before uh, that. Prior to that, uh, with the Gilmans on. The, oh yeah. Really? How, how how far up and down the coast do you run? Do you think? Well, mostly now I fish south of town down by Long Beach, but um, when I used to fish with them, we would fish all the way up to destruction sometimes. Really? Okay. It seems like it's been a while since anybody's gone up there. Though. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. Know why. Not how, as many crab, I don't know. How, how's it been this year for you? It's been pretty good, a lot better than the last two years. That's what I've been hearing from everybody, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So yeah, I'll okay. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, cool. Open it for sticks, you know. Keep still keep Yeah, I know. I just went down to try to get like 10 minutes worth of footage, and I was there for about two hours yeah, or so. Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> well, they've got that new expansion, too. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't know how much of that's going to be for like... Car business collection. or car collection <laughs> yeah it's true yeah. it's true yeah so how I, I don't know how long have you been how long have you been working though? I'm just saying there's no reason for these guys to get beat out eleven thousand fucking dollars a piece <laughs> because that ain't what the contract said you know if that if the contract if if they did what the contract said they couldn't do that'd be different yeah you want to be in my documentary? Huh? About, you want to be in my documentary about Westport, Virgil? <laughs> documentary about Westport. About Westport. <laughs> my my wife said to go down and get the sexiest man alive on film. There so he I is. Looked, so I looked in the. You Jose? Are you the sexiest up, man okay. in Westport? Goddamn, he's the sexiest man alive. Well, he's got the. Big <laughs> I better send you the Sancho. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, so how long have you been running this shop now? 52 years in September. 52 years. Same location? No. No, we started out, uh, my dad started out on the dock in 50, in uh, 63. And then in 65, we moved into the shipyard. And I was in the shipyard until Bert sold it. Yeah. And he wanted to sell it to me, but his wife didn't like me. So, uh, yeah. like uh, any husband and wife relationship, uh, he had to do what she said. So he sold it to Rick and Randy Rust, right? Which worked for Tacoma Fiberglass, right? Yeah, and so that's uh, so. And then as soon as they got the place, well, they kicked me out. So I never did have a contract. Okay. I just you know you didn't need one with Bert. That's but. is that is that when they stopped doing wooden boats. Oh, I thought they did. No, no. Oh, okay. you know, the only, the only wood boat they ever did is he made his, he made, a, uh, he hired a kid named Rick McMullen that was from Alcatraz, and he had uh, trained on Alcatraz as a carpenter. You know, because they they had a scow that brought their 
groceries and you know and stuff in to there from San Francisco. I and so he trained under that uh, that guy. He was a drug smuggler. Really. And uh, yeah, he uh, got by with it quite a while, and. Uh, um, he was hauling it on a sailboat and and uh, uh, coming into Texas with it, and so huh, they, of course, had figured his scheme out, and they uh, waited for him, and uh, I guess he had the boat in kind of a place with rushes and that, and yeah, they yeah, chased yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. They chased him through there. Well, when they caught him, of course, they. Threw the book at it. Right on. Yeah. Even though you know, you know, uh, I've got another customer that uh, was smuggling in probably two or three hundred thousand pounds at a time, and they they uh, they technically didn't catch him. What were they doing? Heroin? No, uh, marijuana. Oh, and, grass. And okay. Stuff. Basically, okay. marijuana. Okay. Okay. The, um, in fact, one of my other customers. <laughs> From uh, he he lost his boat and had a nice troller. The mafia come and seen him and uh, they said we we'd like to hire you. And they had some tramp steamer out here and he he went out to the tramp steamer and picked it up and brought it in. Yeah. And he actually actually uh, put it up in his in his garage. And uh, so I was I I was talking to I was over at his house one night and. And uh, I was talking to him and his wife, and uh, I said, "Well, you know, what are these guys like?" And she's, she, her eyes got kind of big, and and she says, uh, "Boy," she says, "We invited them to supper. They come down to pick up their stuff, and then there was these two guys." And she says, uh, "Thank you." Yep. I'm talking. I asked the one, the one guy, "Well, you know, what do you do for for a living?" And he says, "Anything." <laughs> and the federal government had tried to get him for murder either three or four times. Holy and they, smokes! And they couldn't stick it. They couldn't pin it on him. But they knew he did it, but they couldn't pin it on him. But she says, when you look in his eyes, he said it, it was just like. Yeah. Looking into a pool of nothing. She said, just kind of made the hackles in the back of your hair when he looked at you. And she's married to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Dang. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. And when and if you and she said if you want to get a hold of them, they you know they give you a number to call and uh, the it would answer. Uh, no, we don't have anybody around here like that. And then, and then about five minutes later, they call you back. From the same number. Yeah. Really? Well, not from the, not from the same number, but you yeah. get a call back. Probably down to about 35. Really? Yeah. How'd you pick them up? Just like jetty cats? Uh, people, no. People, probably 75% of them, people threw them out the door as they drove by. Really? Yep. Like right in front of the shop here? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, but is it just like. Then, uh, the, I had one nice orange cat, looked a lot, I mean, uh, a black and white, looked a lot like Domino. Um, uh, and, uh, she was tall and skinny and, uh, obviously she'd come in season. So as soon as they knew she was knocked up, well, then they got rid of her. Okay. Yeah. And so from her, I ended up with five kittens. Oh man. And then, uh, uh, before I could get the kittens fixed, I ended up with 12. Yeah. Twelve more? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> no wonder you're in business. No wonder you charge so much around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, oh my heart lives. I'm coming. <laughs> got a cat in there? No. No.
Let's see if he's interested. Some. Domino. Earlier, there uh, was one that I, I pick up. Oh, that. yeah, they, they're in there all I the time. There was some food in there. There is a little bit. <laughs> someone beat him to it. You know, there was somebody in there, and I went, oh, what? that bag is moving. So I went what to that that business out. advice that you gave yeah. me once? Yeah. Yeah. That your friend yeah, gave you? Do you remember that one? The business advice? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you remember that one? Yep. How does that one go again? <laughs> you want that again? Yeah. Okay. One of my friends told me one day that uh, he says, you know, I had sex with a hundred mothers. And he says, you know, nobody ever called me a motherfucker. And he says, you know, I sucked one cock, and now everybody calls me a cocksucker. <laughs> I think I think about that about every day, man. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got I got a I got another one for you. Uh, <clears throat> so, I think I think I I might have told you today about the. About the, about the old fisherman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the old fisherman.